hi guys welcome back again to my channel and to my kitchen today is a chicken soup day I have one chicken soup recipe up a while back but you guys wanted an updated one I'm going to show you how I make a fast and easy chicken soup you could have this just about any day of the week I'm going to show you how to get this one together so if you want to see why I make this one up come on let's get started here comes our old boy Jamaican Okay guys, let's talk about our chicken that you're going to be using. You could use whatever part of the chicken that you want to use. I have legs and thighs right there and so I take off the skin. Because if you leave the skin on, the chicken is going to be very, very oily on top. A lot of oil is going to form on top of that chicken soup. Is, uh, guys, I hate that. So take off your chicken skin and clean your chicken really, really good. I use vinegar and lemon juice to wash up my chicken. All right, I have two cups of flour in there. Now, depending on how big your family is and how much dumpling you want in your soup, but I'm going to use two cups of all-purpose flour in my soup. You make caramel dumpling. You can use whatever kind of flour that you choose to use in your soup. Now, you're going to definitely need some pimento seed, all spice. To that, I'm going to add my Irish potato, and I'm going to use the Grace Chicken Noodle Flavored Soup Mix. You can use whatever you like, but that's the one that I choose to use today. To that, you're going to have your garlic, some all-purpose Jamaican season right there, so, and some salt. So that is a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic, and right here is a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning. Because you want that chicken for a flavor. Now, as far as what I'm going to be throwing into my soup, I'm going to put some corn right there. Scallion and thyme, but also I'll put my chocha and some carrots and some pumpkin. I'm also gonna put my hot scotch bonnet pepper in it. I don't know, semi eat pepper, but I'm gonna put it in there anyway because I soup there. So come on and let's get started. Okay, guys, so we are moving on to our very, very first step to make a chicken soup. Now, you want to make sure you have a nice pot. I'm using my duchy. Yes, 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 we love use my Dutch in my kitchen. But make sure you have enough water in that pot. I don't even measure that. Just make sure you have enough water to get the soup started. And before you put anything inside of your pot, you make sure so that water is bubbling and boiling real hot. Now, I'm going to put my vegetables in. So we're going to start off with our pumpkin. Because the pumpkin is not just um, going to give it color. It's going to give it a lot of flavor. I'm going to put my carrots in too. I'm going to put my chocha. I'm going to add my pimento seed. And then I'm going to put my chicken in. Now, for the soup flavor, you're going to put your garlic, your salt, and your all purpose seasoning in there. Okay, guys, I'm just going to cover this up and I'm going to give this about half an hour. And in half an hour, I'm going to come back and then we'll move on to the next step. So see you back in half an hour. My soup has been cooking for about 30 minutes. Yeah, 30, 35 minutes. So we are moving on to our next step. I'm going to go ahead and put my thyme in. Some scallions. I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken noodle inside. Now I'm going to put my potatoes in. Now guys, if you want to put yam and all of them things in, you could put your yam and stuff. I'm not putting any yam in here today. I'm just going to make this real mellow. I'm going to add some corns in it. My dumplings go in. And this again guys is white flour dumpling. Okay, now my dumplings are in. The only thing that's left for me to do here guys is go ahead and put in my pepper. So I put my pepper in there and just toss this around a little bit. Now guys, this is the perfect time to go ahead and give it your taste test. See if you want any more salt or if you want to add anything else to it. You can even have okra if you want to add okra in it, but I'm not adding anything else. That is my chicken soup. I'm gonna let this go ahead and boil for about 30 to 35 minutes and make everything come together nice. 
so when I come back my soup should be ready see you back so okay guys my soup is all done Jamaican chicken soup in my kitchen I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this on a plate and then it's time to eat so I will see you back there you have it guys all done on a plate mm, that thing is divine Jamaican chicken soup well my chicken soup alright guys I hope you enjoyed this recipe another great one this is a volume 2 I will put the link below for volume 1 don't forget to like thumbs up share 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 subscribe no man let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy i'm gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat cover it up nice and make it simmer and when it's done simmer a time for we eat so see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's ten dollars for this palette.